What's up everybody and welcome back to Ducks and Download. So in this quick video, I wanted to go over, do we even need the Sith anymore? We have Rey's new movie coming out soon, I'm super excited for it, and we're getting the new Jedi Order leading into the new era of the Force and the galaxy far, far away, and I'm all here for that. What I'm mostly curious about though is, are we going to see more Sith? Are the Sith going to come back, or are they going to remain this enigmatic, enigmous, mystery, you know, boogeyman in the night that we don't really ever see again? Do we need them is the first question we need to talk about though. Do we need the Sith to make Star Wars continue? So in like quick, easy, you know, Occam Razor, straight to the point, no, of course we don't. We don't have to have this ultimate evil to still push the new Jedi Order into helping and surviving and creating these new doctrines and moments of teaching. We do need evil. We need bad people doing bad things to try and hurt good people who are just trying to get by. There's no lack of that in the galaxy far, far away. You could take away the ultimate evil and there are still smugglers, there are still bandits, there are still raiders, there are still pirates. There are still plenty of people in the Star Wars galaxy to cause Rey and this new Jedi Order a lot of problems and to really drag the Republic back into almost the brink of war if it needed to be. With things like the High Republic, we have the Nihil, a marauding group of bandits who only care about the chaos they cause and only live to create that chaos. It's their very life essence. It's their force. So we don't have to have the dark side sorcerers to really push Rey in this new movie and in this new trilogy into uh, continuing a conflict, continuing her story, the story of the new Jedi Order. Matter of fact, it would almost make sense to return to the High Republic style of things where it's not Sith and Jedi, where it is just Jedi helping the new Republic bring in systems that it may have lost, bring in faith back to the Republic, and to really help cement the idea that the Jedi have returned. The Jedi will also change though into something different here too. They're not going to be the Jedi that we knew of in the super dogmatic fall of the Jedi. Maybe there will be more relationships, again, like in the High Republic, between Padawans. As long as there's no attachment, then it's okay. The issue is the emotion that comes from that attachment. Now back to the subject though of the evil in Star Wars and the Darksiders and the Sith. There will always be Darksiders though. We might not have the Sith, again, the ultimate evil in the Star Wars universe. Whereas the Jedi follow the flow of life and death and serenity of the Force, the Sith aim to grab the flowing waters of life and turn it into a tirade that they can use at their whim. Way more than a Dark Force user. A Dark Force user could simply just kind of like choking people who don't give him the answer that he wants. Uh, it could be a smuggler who uses the Force quite capably, but never touches a lightsaber, has no need to. Rather shoot somebody in the back, it's easier that way. So a Dark Jedi, or a Dark Force user I should say, is definitely something that I feel like is gonna happen in these upcoming films. It's a very big want and need I should say, because I want it because I like Dark Jedi and I like the Sith honestly, but we need them to have a big villain. You're gonna have to build up a Marquion Rowe style of raider in a film, which is nowhere near as easy as books, comics, and other literature we've read and seen from the High Republic. Marquion Rowe had a lot of footing, and books are, of course, more personal. You get to invent the person and how they kind of sway and walk, whereas in a movie you're looking directly at someone's representation of that person. So it, I, I don't think it can be, though, just a simple marauder. This marauder or whoever's gonna be leading this band of you know miscreants to fight against the New Republic is gonna have to have dark powers. To me personally, it's the only thing you should really ever do. I feel like it's the best idea because it's the ultimate you know, good versus evil for the Star Wars universe are light side and dark siders. Now, onto the more specific sect of dark side users, the Sith. Should they return in Rey's new Jedi film? Well, I want them to. I think it'd be amazing. But let's be real here, guys. How can they? Dooku's gone. Ventress is gone. Vader turned and took out Palpatine with him. Palpatine returns and then is taken out by Rey, full force blown up. And if Palpatine continues to teach his apprentices the way that he always has, I can guarantee you not a single one of those Sith acolytes, those Sith worshippers from the great Sith cult that had been found on Exegol, none of them, 
none of them have the knowledge that Palpatine had. He's not going to share that with them if he's not going to share it with his one apprentice. This cult who worship the Sith, sure, they will have artifacts, they will have ancient Sith script, they will probably know how to read some of it. They will have information like we do about the Mesopotamians on this planet, or about how we do about the Viking culture even. And a lot of it, I guarantee, we still get wrong to this very day. So there's no way that just some random guy that was there on Exegol is going to become the next Sith. Now, I've been wrong before, and I could be wrong here. I won't be upset if I am, honestly. I think it's a really fun idea if somehow somebody did survive. You know, let's say somebody who did have Force abilities kind of hid them from Palpatine, knowing that they wouldn't go well for him. Probably he would be thrown into vat and tested on, have the midichlorians ripped out of him and pumped into Palpatine's decrepit body. So he hid. After the destruction of Exegol, he could have found some things. But again, Exegol got, like, obliterated. From all the Star Destroyers coming out of the ground, from the massive attack that happened overhead, there's going to be wreckage, there's going to be debris, there's going to be stuff all over the place, and you know the New Republic is not just going to let that planet go back into the mysteries. You're not going to find an ancient Sith cult and then not at least send people in there to like destroy the tomb, destroy the temple, something. If they don't, that's a huge glaring error on their part. They are the New Republic, though. They've made a lot of errors. This could be one. And we could have someone go to Exegol, and that's how they become a Sith. But I really do hope the Sith continue. Whether it's an apprentice that Palpatine had and didn't tell anyone about. Whether it's one of the Sith cultists who had the Force and then survived the Battle of Exegol and is going around hoarding artifacts to teach himself the Sith ways. Or, my personal favorite, is an ancient Sith, ghost, possessed mask, something, is able to come back through the possession or the attunement to another's body or a weapon. We get to see this in the Shadows of the Sith book with Viceroy Panshard having possessed a mask that when you put it on, he takes your body over. A Sith Lord that found a way to be somewhat immortal, but nowhere near as free as the Force Ghosts, of course. But I really, really like the idea of someone going maybe to Exegol or to Korriban, Moriban, however they want to call it in these newer movies, and find an ancient possessed artifact. Maybe finding the tomb of Darth Bane and relearning the Rule of Two, relearning those things. Now, I think the Rule of Two should be dead, but that's a whole subject for something else. But I do think the Sith should return, at least in this trilogy for one of the last, if not second to last movie. I really think Rey's gonna have to fight against herself though, if it is a new Sith Lord, some, especially an ancient Sith, because she's not gonna know how to deal with that. She's fought an empire and a remnant. She's fought people who have maintained control, aren't taking it. If she meets an ancient Sith Lord who is hell-bent on taking back the Sith Empire the way he foresaw it, please be a pure blood Sith. We really need pure blood Sith in Star Wars live action. Oh. But if all of that is done, this is going to be a blood thirsty warlord. This is going to be a Sith who plays no games, takes no prisoners. This is going to be torture for Rey and the Jedi, but I think they need it. The Jedi have to be a blade honed against the most crude stones to make the sharpest edges. The Jedi have to meet an ultimate evil to ultimately become good. The Sith will always remain somehow a relevant part of Star Wars, as they should. They've helped scope Star Wars since its original plot. But we do not need the Sith anymore moving forward. They can die with Palpatine, but it would simply be a strange take. Also coming from finances on like collectibles, toys, games, you've got to have a Darksiders. Red lightsabers against blue, green, purple, whatever color lightsabers sells the most tickets. And they're going to put a negative, dark, evil, however you want to put it, Force user in the Ray movies. I'm so stoked on what it's going to be, though. Guys, in the comment section down below, when you're hitting that like and subscribe button, make sure to tell me what do you think the villain for Ray's new trilogy is going to be. Markeon Roe or some new ancient Sith Lord come to retake Sith space? You know, we're going to have the plucky, kind of charismatic, but evil to his bone marauder, or a twisted and calculating malevolent Sith. Let me know what you guys think, but I'm super excited for these new Rey movies to be coming out. A new Jedi Order. I'm so stoked that the future of Star Wars is so bright, and that my children and my grandchildren will also have Star Wars movies in the theaters. Everybody have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you all so much for stopping by, and as always, may the Force serve you well.